Kling 1.6 allows you to combine different images into one video and you can make some pretty interesting stuff with it. For example, I can take this image of Joe Rogan, add in an image of Winston Churchill and boom, they're having a podcast together. Or what about Cleopatra doing a makeup tutorial for her TikTok? With the new elements feature, you can create consistent characters in different scenes, add in objects to your video and you can even change the clothes of your character. So let's dive in and let me show you how this works. So how this works is you go to Kling then in image to video you have the new elements feature right here now here you can add in four different images now in this video i will show you different ways of how you can combine this together but let me start off by showing you a character plus an object plus a scene so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on upload an image then i have this image right here of a pharaoh then i upload another image which will be the setting so this is a ski slope and then lastly i upload an object which will be this snowboard i made all of these images using mid journey then the next step is you scroll down here and you give it a prompt i'd like to keep it simple i wrote down an ancient egyptian pharaoh dressed in traditional clothing riding a snowboard down a ski slope then you click on generate and if you want to generate more scenes you basically do two then you do professional mode and then you keep it on 16 by 9 or use whatever resolution you like and then you simply generate it now this will give you a video like this and here you see that exact same snowboard is being used as i prompted then we have the pharaoh and he's going down the same ski slope here we have a different video this one kind of failed because yeah what he's doing with the snowboard doesn't make sense but you want to generate multiple videos so you know which one is the best one as it will generate a different video each time now let me show you another example right here so here i used winston churchill with a cigar then with a headset on and then in a podcast studio and this is what it made it looks quite good um, but i tried this multiple different times sometimes it even feels like for example here with this joe rogan episode joe rogan looks kind of like a troll like here so yeah try this out multiple different times here for example i have cleopatra as you can see this one worked really well only the reflection in here didn't quite work but we do have the golden brush we do have the tiktok ring light and we have her doing her makeup now that you have the idea how this works let me show you how you can do the same with multiple different characters so you can keep consistent characters in the same video so for that i tried three different things first off i have this image of a man then i have this image of a model in the desert and then what i basically asked it is a man and a woman walking together in the forest take a look at this you don't necessarily need to add in a third element to have the exact background same for this one for example you don't actually need to add in an image of a snowboard if you prompt it that he's standing on a snowboard then the video will understand it because this works as well now let's go back to our video right here it generated this video first this one kind of flopped then this one looks pretty good like it looks like they're on a walk in the forest yeah there's no weird stuff about it now if we try that out with a third character then let's try out something with a dog and here i use this image of a labrador and it generated these videos So yeah, that dog is just looking like he's really happy to be there. Same here as well. It's morphing a little bit, but this one looks quite cool. Here I try to emphasize being in New York City. And it looks cool, but this dog morphing a little bit. I'm not quite satisfied with this result, but this one looks pretty good now while i was generating this image of a dog i was curious let's say i put a third person in there would it work the same and then i tried this out with a wizard so here i have this image of a wizard quite a creepy old wizard and here we have the result of that so i prompted it a man a woman and a wizard walking together in the park so yeah this looks pretty awkward to me but it works fairly well the only thing that isn't right is the hands right here other than that, it could definitely be used. Now, besides just adding in multiple characters in the same video, you can also change the environment. So that's what I did right here. I have two images. One is this alien looking dude, and the other one is this kind of like rocky volcano landscape. Now I prompted it, a cute Pixar style alien stands on a rocky terrain, camera zoom in. And then we got something like this. 
So the quality remains relatively good, but once I try this again on a different prompt where I have him walking around, he's walking through like a rock there. So be careful with what you are prompting because sometimes it has a bit of difficulty trying to get the two images together. For example, here I try to do the same thing in a different environment. So I have the same alien, but now he's in some kind of lab and here I made him dancing. This is just a total fail. But if I use the same videos right here, but I make him zoom out and I have him like standing there, then it actually looks pretty good. So play around with that. Keep your prompts pretty simple. The AI will pretty much understand how it works. And then you can make some cool videos like this. Lastly, you could also use this elements feature to change the appearance of your character. So for example, you can make this person right here wear a pink leather jacket and also some yellow sunglasses. Now, after you prompt it, so a woman walk on the beach wearing a pink jacket she also wears yellow sunglasses on her face then you get something like this if you don't like that then you have this second option Hopefully this gives you a bit of an idea of how you can use Kling 1.6 elements for your projects. Now, if you want to see another video where I test out a AI tool that can do filmmaking, then click the video that's on the screen right now. And if you want to have access to my AI toolkit, then click the link in the description. There you can find my toolkit. You can sign up for completely free and I will share my most used AI tools with you.